let's do a collective read. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. As usual, this will be a general collective reading and it will not resonate with all of you. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. This will also not be for any specific zodiac signs, um, but if I do see them come out, I will mention them, of course. Please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here and if it is, welcome to my channel. I do offer a channel membership where you can get access to all my extended readings. If you're interested, click the join button below or you can find more information about joining my channel in the description box. You, you can also find information there about private readings. I am running a special for the month of January. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. So what is going on? What is the current situation? So we have, mm, this card keeps coming out, like not in just obviously in this reading, but in all of the readings. We have social circle here. We have straw into gold. Okay. We have sacrifice. Not amused. Clarify social circle. We have the, ooh, there is some type of chaos or fighting among in a social circle. Mm-hmm. Fighting arguments, disagreements, not on the same page. So this could be fighting amongst friends, fighting amongst family. We have straw into gold, the devil's domain. Whoop. Obsession, addiction, poor habits, codependency. Creating something out of nothing. Mm-hmm. What about um? So somebody has some really toxic people around them. Don't sacrifice. We have right here waiting, yearning and longing, waiting period. Yeah, this is kind of going already. Along with the twin flame reading I did earlier. Think about not amused, rocking horse, fed up. Yeah, I think you guys got you guys got sick of somebody not choosing you, or you got sick of somebody choosing a to some type of toxic social circle over you. Somebody felt like somebody had to make a decision to give. It's like somebody couldn't have you and these people, whether that was because you guys weren't having it or this social circle wasn't having it. I don't know, but it was like somebody knew that they had to give up something to have like a victory with you. But I think that somebody was procrastinating making this decision. And I think you guys got sick of them waiting, you know, taking forever in a lifetime to make up their mind about what they wanted to do or if they were going to remove these people, whatever this was, because whoever these people are that they have around them are very toxic. It's a lot of chaos. It's a lot of arguments. It's just like a lot of disharmony there. Huh? What's on the back of the deck? We have blessed union. So we have meant to be together. Love that transforms divine mission together. Tell me more about this social circle and the battlefield. What is this? What is the social circle fighting about? We have not worth wasting, prolonging the inevitable. Nothing good will come of it. Yeah, somebody's holding on to some dead weight here. Yeah, somebody's holding on to some dead weight. It's like one of those situations where you're like, all right, I've, you've argued enough. You fought enough. You've tried to argue your point enough. It's not changing anything. It's time to just let it be what it is and, you know, leave or something like that. Or talk about wasting time, daydreaming, fantasizing. What's this have to do with social circle and battlefield? Miracles. Luck is on your side. Blessings surround you. Who, who has these negative emotions? An offer of love. What's this have to do with my collective? The unexpected. So what you're not expecting is somebody's about to come in with some type of love offer here. <laughs> and this is quite possibly somebody that you don't like or somebody that you have negative emotions or feelings towards. Resentment, anger. You feel like this person did you dirty. So what does this have to do with social circle and the battlefield? They could be fighting with people over you. Yeah, gossip, talking about, yeah. Somebody's possibly defending you to their social circle or to their family. Yeah, fighting oh, fighting with people about you. Because, yeah, time more about the T. Lack of action, procrastination. Yeah, what does it do with my collective though? Carelessness. Okay, whatever attitude, negligence, inattentiveness, not playing your cards right. 
Why are they procrastinating? They maybe feel like they had to be loyal to somebody else. Why were they procrastinating? Why were they procrastinating or not making an effort? Somebody feels like they're being pushed to their breaking point. So now what? Yeah, wishes granted. Your thoughts are manifesting. Wishes coming true. I feel like somebody's just about had it with, with some people that they have around them. Like they've had enough. I don't know. And I don't know if these people have a problem. How do these people feel about my collective? Do they have a problem with my collective? Because that's kind of what it's looking like. Do they have a problem with my collective? Is that what the problem is here? Surprises, expect the unexpected, shocking revelations that what? That you're, 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 oh, somebody's found out that you're irreplaceable. Oh. So, different storyline. Okay, some of you guys could have been having conflict with somebody because they are wanting to go out and explore their options or they were still just kind of like in a partying type like mode or something like that where they wanted to just go out and have fun and socialize and maybe explore their options or something like that. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Gotcha. But I still feel like they're fight there's people I don't know. There's fighting some fighting amongst a social circle. But I think you and this person were not on the same page. One of you was wanting to go out and like explore options. The other person was not wanting that. Like you you and this person were not on the same page. Or you and somebody are not on the same page. Like this could even be a friend for some of you. Where you just don't feel like you vibe with this person anymore. Like the what what you know, your your goals are in alignment or your values are in alignment. They're, you know, they're still wanting to party, get drunk and wasted all the time. And you don't want to do that anymore. It could be that situation too. But somebody is realizing that you're, you're irreplaceable. That it's hard to find somebody like you that if they let you get away, they're not going to like, it's almost like, I don't know. Somebody thought that maybe they could find another you at, in the future or something like that. If they, But it's like they're going out there and they're exploring their options or they're associating with other people. And they're realizing that, no, you really don't come across people like you very often. Like you were a unicorn, right? Why the battlefield, though? What's the fighting? And I think there was a lot of fighting and disagreements and arguments. Yeah, genuine love, kind, loving and generous can be trusted with your heart. So why is the battlefield here then? Cost of vanity. So, mm living so like somebody was always trying to fight with you this person for some reason was not wanting to see that you they 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 were in some type of illusion this person likes attention mhm mm this person likes attention from multiple people that's what that was part of it right there guys this person could be a narcissist for some of you but i think that this person um communication what about a big heart though somebody wants to talk yeah they this person knows that you loved them but they definitely like super, they like attention yeah what about just fair is fair though jealous one mm, they want to make things right with you because they don't want to lose you because somebody knows that you're irreplaceable so so what about this cost of vanity Perfect match. What about cost of vanity, though? Feels like home, sense of security, comfort zone. Forward moving, willingness to do the work. Why? Why now? Because they were in this energy where they were wanting attention from multiple people. They were wanting attention from multiple people. Heart of betrayal. Yeah. They put you in. Somebody couldn't have just one person. Are they like they put they cheated on you or they were entertaining more than just you? Because this is somebody that loves attention. They betrayed your trust. I think that they tried to make it out like they, that you could trust them, but you really couldn't. No. Time is running out. Feeling the pressure. Yeah, why is someone feeling pressure to take some type of action towards you? Yeah, being friends first, keeping it casual. They maybe feel like you're getting out there. What about friendship? Creativity. They feel like you're expressing yourself. What is this? Strong urge to express yourself. Gateway to creation. Being friends first complexity situation shit what's that doing with my collective though falling in love the feeling is mutual studying you learning to this person don't even know how to love the right way yeah this person maybe like doesn't want to lose you but they also don't want to full like go right into a full-blown commitment with you because they feel like y'all need to get to know each other more or like mm, be careful of this person trying to put you into a 
uh, a situation ship. Planetary vibes, planetary influences, celestial realms, connection with the cosmos, outside influences, external factors. Divine, the divine stepped in. Somebody was trying to put you in a freaking third party. They were trying to make you put you in a situation ship. Yeah. The the worst part about it, guys, is that this person knew that they always could trust you. So now, since the, the divine intervened, then what? They were listening to people's opinions too, not phased by it, self controlled, not reacting to negativity. The young, they are. I'm telling you, this person is heavily influenced by some toxic ass people that they have around them, and the chaotic, the chaos that co comes along with those people. It could even just be what they're used to, like how they were raised. Okay, so why is this coming out for my collective? Why is this what my collective needs to know? So they, what they want you to know is somebody is, is sweating over here. They're afraid to lose you. They don't want anybody else to have you. 11-11 on the camera as I'm saying this. Yeah, because they know that they're not going to find another you. So now what? But they betrayed you. They, they're they going to try to put you in a love triangle, guys. I'm not playing. They're going to try to put you in a third-party situation. Yeah, learning to love, studying you, getting to know each other. It's like they're going to hold on to something else while they're trying. They're feeling out a situation with you until they feel like it's safe. But see, yeah, divine hand, divine assistance, Midas touch. What about divine hand? Lady Spiderweb, new connection. So the divine is maybe bringing in somebody new for you. What about divine hand and lady spider web? Lady Venus now. Beauty and grace, romantic and sexual. What about, what's the with this person that doesn't want to lose them? Let go of, yeah, th this person's about to come around and try to repeat a cycle with you. They're warning you. I think that you will have new, like a, a connect. oh, I can't talk. You will have an opportunity for a new connection or new connections. You're the create creator of your reality. So you can choose to go back into this cycle with this person, or you can choose to open up to the these new connections that are coming in here. Because yeah, with sacred cycles here, what goes around comes around. Honor this, honor the cycle you are in. Let go of the old. Maybe spirit is saying you already have some new opportunities that have been presented to you. Don't go back to what you were doing before. Because somebody does not want anybody, this person, somebody does not want anybody else to have you. But they are going to put you in a third party situation because this person loves attention. Yeah, they feel like, yeah, we'll take a while. Not It's like if you choose to be with this person, the, the progress will be very slow, if, if at all. You know, so you got to be, it's not the right time for you to, um, to do, the, to try to have anything with this person, if ever. Divine love, yeah. What about left out in the cold, though? Wishes granted. What about sacred emerald, though? The Grim Reaper. Break up, divorce, clearing away the old, cutting something or someone off. So what's that have to do with my collective? Negative emotions. You guys don't feel, you feel some type of way about this person. I'm telling you, but you, there's a miracle unfolding. Somebody's about to come in and fight for you. So if somebody tried to put you in a third party situation and you guys decided to open up to new possibilities instead of going back into this cycle with them or the, going back into this third party situation with them, I think, and I think that, yeah, this was actually a big loss for you. I think you guys, you guys are either ready to give up on a situation or you did give up on it already. But what you don't know is that, yeah, you guys do have anger and resentment towards whoever this is. You feel like they did you dirty. You're annoyed with them. But somebody is not going to give up on you easily. You may think since you ended things with them and, you know, they tried to put you in a third party situation. You rejected that offer. You chose to go down a different path. You guys have been in no contact. You think things are over, but it's not. It's not over. Like somebody is about to try to come back and fight for you. Yeah. And they're not going to give up easily. Not giving up easily. Wanting to conquer fighting for your love. So what else do they need to know about this? The grasp of greed, though. Be careful. Yeah, I don't like this recognition. So what about it? Ancient. This person loves attention, guys. Someone you have a past with. Ancestral karma. Gifts from the ancestors. They're all ancient history. They're coming in with an offer of love. Yes, we already saw that. And what's that leading to? Yeah, somebody's coming in all or nothing now. So what about grasp of greed, though? 
Somebody just wants you to themselves. Yeah, unaware of admirers, feelings, fear of rejection. Someone's secretly watching you. Ghosted. Cut off abruptly. Lack of closure, feeling rejected. What's that do with the greed card, though? Consuming passion. Lustful disease. Yeah, I'm telling you. This person uh, could have just liked to sleep around. So are they still in that energy or has that changed? No, something has changed. Yeah, solar eclipse here. Unexpected major changes, cosmic intervention, powerful changes of heart. So somebody has, and why is that? Is it because you guys cut the, what, why is that? Because of losing, they feel like they lost you. This person, at some point, they felt like they lost you. And that, that like kind of made this person, yeah. Emotional loss, defeat, deep sadness, heartbreak, regrets, and mistakes. Tell me, give me one more about that. Battle wounds, weary and guarded, hurt and past relationships. But what does this mean for you though? They're going to take a risk. They may feel like they still, they're still holding on to some type of thing, some type of hurt or pain from the past, but they're going to take a risk and um, commit to you here. But why is the young here closed off? This person has inner child. This person's still emotionally unavailable. They may come in and offer you a commitment, but this person's dealing with emotional issues. Strangely lonely, a journey alone, feeling lonely. They or they have abandonment issues too. So what does that mean? They're coming in to offer you a commitment. Planetary vibes are coming in to offer a commitment. Yeah, because they feel like you're the ruler of their heart. But why is cost of vanity here again? The cosmos. What about the cost of vanity? The T. They they learned some type of lesson. Oh, this was a part of the divine plan. Yeah, some type of, um, they've been going through some, some, there's been a divine plan at play because somebody was a narcissist, like, was living in an illusion or something like that, or they were, like, being greedy and they loved attention. What, what was the part of the divine plan here? Lies and deception, bad intentions. What about trouble lurking? Refreshing new energy, interesting and stimulating. Oh... You, you know what happened here? You guys came into this person's life to show them that they have been being deceived. That what they thought love was, wasn't that. What they thought was fulfilling actually wasn't true fulfillment. What they thought was happiness wasn't actually true happiness. What they thought was stable was actually not stable. What they thought was safe wasn't. It's like the divine sent you in to kind of like shatter this person's whole false reality that they were living in. Yeah, like when you came in, you made this person look at everything differently. Well, okay, that makes sense now. Because now I feel like ever since meeting you, the things that used to, they used to think would bring them fulfillment, happiness, um, stability, safety, comfort, all of those things, it, it's just, it, they don't see it that way anymore. Okay, now it's coming together. I was like, what is this? <laughs> I think that they're also seeing some things about the people they have around them. This person is obsessing over trying to get you back or trying to revive a connection with you. Yeah, that's they're obsessing over that. We have the star Aquarius energy. Yeah, that's what they're wishing and hoping for. They're trying, they're they're hopeful. Two of Wands. Mm. Tell me more. The Eight of Cups in reverse. They'll be back. Yeah, they'll be back. We have Aquarius energy. We have the five. Yep, they'll be back. Five of Swords in reverse. They want to squash the beef. They want to reconcile. Clarify the star. Yep, this person is 100% going to be back. Like, I'm telling you. Hmm. Clarify the two of wands. The nine of wands in reverse. Hmm. Clarify the eight of cups in reverse. The two of pentacles. They still haven't made up their mind 100% yet. Clarify the five of swords in reverse. The three of wands. They want to manifest expansion or reconciliation with you. What's the problem, though? Clarify the Six of Swords reverse, the Nine of Wands reverse, and the Two of Pentacles. 
the seven of wands in reverse. Somebody's giving up on something here. If they were trying, I don't know. They're they, they're they're finally letting something go. Surrendering. This is somebody that's gonna surrender. Tell me more. Page of Cups in reverse. What about that? The Ace of Wands in reverse. Okay. The Page of Wands. This person is very childlike. They're going to reach out to you and want to not fight anymore. But what's the... Something's not right. Yeah, they. what are they doing here? With the King of Wands in reverse? I don't like that. Aries Leo Sag energy. That's selfish energy to me. Or lust. Tell me about the King of Wands in reverse. Five of Cups in reverse. The Chariot Cancer energy. The Hermit in reverse. They have, Something hasn't changed yet. I told you, be careful of this person trying to come back towards you for selfish reasons or to repeat a cycle. I do see a rejection here with the Ace of Wands reverse. Mm-hmm. So this person may try to come back towards you for lustful reasons or for selfish reasons. And I think you guys are going to reject this person. And then what? Yep, Ace of Cups. Maybe after you do that, you have new look. What about the Two of Swords? I don't, I'm sick of this indecisive energy. So yeah, they were stuck between like the past and like having a newbie. So what's to do with my collective though? Yeah. This person is just very stuck, guys. And it's going to be very important for you to not let this person keep you stuck. Is this going to change? I do see change. What is changing things? Yeah, the Knight of Cups. What about the Knight of Cups? The Seven of Pentacles, okay. And they're going to see a, some. This is maybe somebody else that's coming towards you. Is this the past person? The Page of Swords, they're watching you or they're curious about you. They want to know what's going on. Yeah, they want to know what's going on here. So they will reach out to you, but... Mm. I just see that somebody hasn't changed. I see them co coming in to try to feel out the situation or try to see what's going on with you. Two, 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 two on the camera as I'm saying that. And I feel like you guys are going to end up rejecting this person. What is making them get rejected? What is it that my collective doesn't like? Yep. Queen of Swords. You're like, uh-uh, I feel too much. Some of you guys just are mad at this person. You're pissed. You're pissed. You feel like this person did you dirty. You don't want nothing to do with them. So who is this Knight of Cups that's coming towards you, wanting to invest in you, work on something with you? It's this person that has issues with, that feels like, mm, yeah, it's somebody that, it's the same person. They're going to, so why are they coming towards you like that? The nine of pentacles delays. This person feels insecure because they, they are trying to get stable and independent and get their shit together. But there's a lot of delays when it comes to that. And they feel very insecure about that. Yeah, somebody feels some type of way because they want to have the Ten of Cups with you. But they they don't want you to know. This person's feeling very insecure at this time. I don't think that they want you to know that though. Like they're coming towards you with a whole lot of ego because they don't want you to know how abandoned and how rejected and how insecure they feel. Hmm. Give me a few more. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, this, they're they're trying to rebuild all. For some of you, they didn't go on some, through some karma. They're trying to rebuild their life after there was some type of tower moment in their life. Yeah, I think that they've been going through karma. Because I think the divine intervened because this person was trying to be greedy. Yeah, the nine of cups. Yeah, that's greed energy. Yep. Ace of swords in reverse. Yeah. The king, somebody could maybe even see how greedy and selfish they were being. Yeah, somebody couldn't see how greedy and selfish they were being and that they were the reason why things were ended or... Yeah, now they feel like they're missing an opportunity. Somebody has just like, they were delusional, guys. That's all I can say is that somebody like was had this whole idea of how things were. 
Spirit had to knock this person down. They've been humbled. That's what I'm probably going to name this reading. Somebody's been humbled because they were, yeah. This is somebody that didn't recognize that, that their shit stunk. Like, yeah, they got humbled here. The divine definitely intervened and humbled this person. And I think that they've been going through it. And I think that they feel very insecure and they feel very small. But yeah, I'm going to take this over to the extended reading because I want to take a deeper look to see like what has what what did this what did this karma look like or what did happen that has humbled this person? And what's going to happen going forward? I think what's humbling them too is that you guys rejected them. This person maybe thought that you would take them back or that they could always come back or something like that. And I think that you didn't want them back. Huh. All right, yeah. We're going to take a look deeper look at this over in the extended reading. The link will be in the description box or you can join my channel to get access to all my extended readings. You can also find information there about private readings. Um, I am running a special for the month of January. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I will see you in the extended reading. Bye.